Unit 8 focuses on explaining problems and asking for favors or help. Using directional agreement verbs is a necessary and important skill for communicating about these kinds of ideas. The basic grammatical form that Unit 8 wants you to understand and internalize is this form. 1. When did this happen? What is the time marker? 2. What caused it? What is the reason for the problem? And 3. What needs to happen next? Or what solution is being sought? In ASL, the typical discourse begins with a time marker. You can choose any appropriate time marker, and I will demonstrate a few of the most common ones. Last week. Tomorrow night. Next year. Next year. Yesterday. Or yesterday. Last night this morning. Next, we come to the meat of the matter. What is the problem? Or what caused it? In other words, why are you planning to ask for help? Here are some possibilities. My dog escaped. My car broke down. My mom, she's sick. My roommate, they're loud. My coworker is lazy. That store is closed. My phone, I lost it. Now that you've set up the problem, you are ready to explain what kind of solution you are seeking. Here are some examples, but they're written in English. I will demonstrate these sentences in ASL. But take note, the need must sign often comes last. Find the dog, I have to. Go to work, I must. This afternoon off, I need that. Your advice, I need it. Borrow money from you, help me search. Courtesy is just as important in ASL as it is in English. We want to be polite when making requests, so it's best to start with one of these phrases. Please, for me. Would you mind or do you mind? Can you, please? Now you are ready to create the message in ASL. Follow these steps. Choose a time marker. Express the reason. Then politely ask for help. Make sure to include not just gloss signs, but directional agreement verbs and classifiers where appropriate. Follow along with me as I demonstrate some requests for help using ASL. This morning, my dog escaped. Can you help me search? Last night, my car broke down. Would you mind if I ride with you? Here are some more examples. Yesterday, my mom, she felt sick. Please, you tell my boss that I can't work. Next year, Hawaii, I'm going for vacation. Would you mind my dog feeding him? I want you to practice using agreement verbs in Unit 8. But how do you know which way to move the verb? Here's a tip. If the word or concept contains to me in the phrase, the sign will move toward the signer. But if the concept is about the other person, then the verb will move away from the signer. Come over, help me, help me, lend me, let me borrow, tell me, tell me, ride with you, you drop it off, 
You go by. You go clean. You tell them. When we say that ASL grammar is visual-spatial, this is what we mean. The movement of the verb in the signing space indicates who or what is the subject and who or what is the object. Make sure to include agreement verbs in your expressive video for Unit 8.